Hi, I'm Michael K. This is a sunspot. This is Google Earth. And this is my mountain bike that I modified to fly around the world. What I did was hooked up the sunspot, it's the wireless sensor made by Sun Microsystems, to the mountain bike, surrounded it with controls to emulate the controls of an airplane, which would then allow me to wirelessly transmit data to the Google Earth Flight Simulator. I'll talk more about the technology later, but for now, let me show you what this thing can do. We're on the runway here at San Francisco Airport now, and I'll start to pedal. I'm on the bike, I'm going to start to pedal, and once we reach a certain speed, we'll head down the runway. Now I'm heading out toward the Pacific Ocean, so we'll see that in a moment once we take off. When I reach about 200 kilometers per hour, I'll pull back and we'll take off. Okay, here we go. Okay, up in the air. Now I'll start to bring the nose down a little bit. And uh, we're going to bank to the right to head up toward the Golden Gate Bridge. And you can see the Pacific Ocean there in the background. Now I'll bank hard to the right. And we'll head over this small mountain here. Now I'll start to straighten out so that we can head up straight to the Golden Gate Bridge. You see over to the right there uh, are the buildings of San Francisco. Now I'm going to head down a little bit so we can see the detail in these mountains. Yeah, that's fantastic. Look at that. Okay, now we're going to head over. Uh, we're going to head over a ridge here. You can see Mount Tamalpais there in the background in the San Francisco Bay. Now once we get over this ridge, okay, we just passed over the Golden Gate Park. Now there's, we're coming up to the San Francisco, uh, to the Golden Gate Bridge. We're heading over the Presidio now, and I'll drop down a bit. We'll get really close to the bridge, bank hard. Come right back over the other end of the bridge, fantastic. Okay, we're heading over, I just turned around, and we're heading back over San Francisco. Uh, this is really great exercise, but it's also great fun now, as well. Um, I've flown over here a bunch of times, so let's go try another part of the world. We're on the runway in Zurich now. I'm going to start to pedal, pick up some speed. Once I pick up enough speed, we'll take off. It is incredibly green here over Zurich. I love the way Google Earth uh, captures uh, the, the greenery. So we'll go up here a little bit and let's... Uh, Let's try banking to the right a little bit here. Here we go. And head over to the forest. We're cruising over this uh, this lake, and uh, you can see we're uh, continually heading to those white capped mountains in the background. It takes a long time uh, to pedal. I'm getting uh, quite quite some good exercise here, heading out to those mountains. Here we're diving down into this valley right at the edge of the lake. And uh, let's pull back up a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's really great. Let me just interrupt the flight for a few minutes while I talk about what's next. I plan to refine the controls. I also plan to adapt the controls to different exercise equipment. For example, a spin bike. For one thing, I need to reclaim my mountain bike. I'm also really interested in the uh, potential of the technology for group flight. Can you imagine a bunch of people getting together in a virtual world and flying together over London, for example? I'm also really interested in the potential for medical rehabilitation and medical monitoring. I mean, quite frankly, this has opened up a whole realm of possibilities in my mind, and I'll continue to investigate those. For those who are interested, stick around, and I'll talk a little bit more about the technology. Otherwise, thanks for watching my video. And now we're um, flying over, over the mountains. In Kathmandu, and uh, here we're going to uh, let's see how close I can get. All right, let's pull back up. Whoa, 
Okay, I'm gonna, no, I made it, okay. Let's go down into the valley here. Oh, close, okay, perfect. Uh, look at the waterfalls on the side of the mountain. Let's get real close to those and take a look. This is a sunspot. It's a wireless sensor made by Sun Microsystems. You write programs for the sunspot in Java, and then the wireless sensor can wirelessly transmit data to other sunspots or to a computer base station. The sunspot has an accelerometer, and it has a bank of I.O. pins that you can connect your own controls to. So, for example, let me turn on the sunspot, and right now this particular sunspot has a program in it that simulates a ball bouncing between two endpoints, as you can see here. What I did was I connected up the wireless sensor to the mountain bike. I surrounded it with controls to emulate the controls on an airplane. For example, I have aileron controls. These are aileron controls where I could use the buttons for aileron controls. As I move the bike back and forth, it simulates the rudder. If I move the handlebars up and down, It'll simulate the yoke of the airplane. And then for velocity, I have hooked up an LED photo sensor here in the back. And the bike is on a bike trainer. So as I pedal, uh, when this surface goes past the LED photo sensor, it sends a pulse back to the wireless sensor, which in turn sends it to the computer base station. And in turn, then interfaces to Google Earth, in this case the Google Earth Flight Simulator.